Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and uh, welcome to Community Conversations at Battle Mountain. Today, our guest is Nikki Shines, my wife. Here we go. This is our first episode, so we hope you guys enjoy, and um, we want to meet you guys. So, how do you like Battle Mountain? Now, I like it. When we first moved here, it was a little bit tough. Just coming from such a, yeah. a larger community that it took a little bit to get used to having the closest Walmart being, what, an hour away or um, whatnot. But after living here for a little over two years now, definitely enjoying it and I I like that our kids can play in the park and I'm not as concerned as I might be in a much larger community. Well, tell us, tell about a mountain about yourself. Well, we moved here originally because um, I got a job teaching at the school I might have had some of your kiddos in my class, um, or I might might have had um, neighbor kids, whatnot. Um, if you had a first grader, the school year of 2017 to 2018, chances are I was able to interact with them on some level. Uh, and then I started out 2018, but I had to leave due to um, some health issues and having another little kiddo. So still loving the community, loving the kiddos, and um, getting that hi, Mrs. Shines from past students it definitely makes me feel still welcomed and loved in the community, even though I'm not at the school presently. What were the challenges um, then and now about living in Dallas? Um, I think first, like, finding a place to live that um, was comparable or whatnot to where I was living before, like as far as house or living arrangements wise, obviously not town size wise, but um, also within like the same cost that I was used to paying, um, just my brain gets kind of stuck on those things and too much change from that can be a little overwhelming. Um, what would you say that you enjoy about Battle Mountain? I really like that, like, we live right in town. And so, being so small, there's times where I feel like how we can walk around the whole town basically or easily ride our bike um, it feels basically what riding riding my bike in like two neighborhoods in from back where I'm from would feel like so just the ability to get around easily um, walking or biking or you know pushing the kids in a stroller it's it's really easy to get around and not have to always have the car if you could change battle mountain or uh, recommend something for battle mountain 
what what do you think Battle Mountain needs? I think there needs to be like more stuff for the kids. Like we have great parks in this community, don't get me wrong. And the pool and rec center is awesome. Um, but we also have a winter and playing in the parks in the winter isn't always the most fun or ideal. Um, and I definitely miss rivers and like hikes and I know part of that is on me because I haven't been able to find or learn where different things are. A, a friend just told me recently about a certain place and I told her she needs to take me there because it looks like the closest thing I'm going to find that's similar to Montana that's nearby here. So, uh, what are what are some of your talents that you have or things that you're aspiring to do? Um, I really like hanging out with kids, obviously. Um, not just my own, but others. And since I was at the school before having my own kids um, and I like doing various crafts um, like I was saying earlier I, I enjoy hiking or playing by the river or water um, just haven't done that really since we've been here because I don't know where it's at or how to get there. Um, I like listening to music. I wouldn't say I'm a musician, but uh, I like, I enjoy singing and playing with my kiddos. place is, it was a challenge moving here for us, you know, um, newly married as well in Battle Mountain, um, and just the, just that um, our ethnic diversity, and you know, we're so different in a lot of ways, and it's definitely a challenge to <clears throat> There's always challenges in the world to overcome. Battle Mountain is growing on, on me personally. You know, um, I was always looking for what what Battle Mountain can do for me versus what I can do for Battle Mountain. That's a, that's a JFK quote. And um, I think when we realize that not only our community, but um, our entire lives and the world can change when we, when we change. Um, so I guess the next question I guess I would ask is, you know, what, how is marriage so far? It's a journey. Every day is a, as a new and own challenges and things to learn from. Um, it's definitely not easy, but it's worth it. Yeah, I would I would definitely agree. There's there's things that I'm finding out that are about her and there's things that I'm finding about myself and every situation is more challenging and 
but it definitely it definitely shapes you. You know, the, I'm able to kind of look back and look at the parents that have came before us, people, and and you know, you don't want to make the same mistakes, but you know, when they do happen, it's it's a uh, one thing I've learned is that I'm like my parents, which I didn't want to be like. But it's not entirely bad. There's just a lot of like, you know, rebelling against your parents and who they are, and then you realize as you get older you are them, but you have a chance to kind of pick off what pick up where they left off. Do you would you agree or disagree? Yeah, I think that the older you get, the more you realize how much you are like your parents, how much you learn from them. And some, you know, to take whoever said the quote, the good, bad, and ugly. Like, there's going to be good qualities that you're going to learn and take from your parents. But unfortunately, there's might be some bad and ugly things too that you take and um, need to grow and overcome and, you know, try and uproot those so that they don't continue on to your kids because Let's be honest, that it's gonna keep happening. They they are gonna learn from you and you're their biggest teacher, so you wanna make sure what you're teaching them is what you want them to grow and take away in this life. I guess that would go to your your very uh, personally, I think you're the smartest person I know. Um, reason being is, you know, I did not like school growing up, and you know, she's a teacher, and she's always teaching me things every day. Come here, come here, you. And um, though I don't like it a lot, but um, it's humbling to to to, to kind of have that as that there for me, have her there for me to ask her certain questions. Like, what is the synonym for this? Or what does this mean? And she knows that. And um, I like that. I can, yeah. it's kind of like my Google before my Google. But um, yeah, it was, it's, a, it's an interesting journey to to realize your partner isn't your enemy and that they're actually like God has given us gifts in, in ourselves that we can actually help each other. And it's it's figuring out how to pedal with one another, you know. Because you gotta you gotta be on rhythm. Um, marriage isn't easy. It's not it, it takes a lot of effort. To want to grow with somebody every day, every decision. What would you say about that? Yeah, uh, just learning and growing from yeah. each other, and uh, like him saying, "I'm the smartest." person he knows. Well, I think that we all are smart in our own um, ways. He's definitely got different skills and talents and gifts that he's smart in that I am barely scratching the surface of knowing things about You're very, um, you know, she's a teacher, 
So I feel like you're very, you're always teaching. It's like, it's a part of you. And sometimes it's like, I'm not always listening. You know? Like it's, it's kind of strange. It's like, is that, was that a joke or was that a, was I supposed to learn something from that? It's just, it's contagious too because my pride gets in the way of, of listening and being like a little jealous. Like, no, I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to teach you something. See, I got all these books. I got these books for you. I'm, out, I'm you know, not going to ever outsmart a woman, but I think the point is it's with the bad, it's, there's good if, if you stick it out in the marriage and. And in the relationship, not just marriage. So my last question would be, what do you think about being a mom or parent and having to take care of one child? It is definitely different um, when they're your own kids and you're with them all the time. Versus, you know, a classroom full of 20 plus six and seven year olds. Um, they, yes, they feel like they're your own, but you only have them for a short period of time. Uh, and to have them with you all day every day is it's fun it's challenging um i definitely see myself learning and growing in different areas every day um you know unexpected having two in such a short period of time but um i wouldn't trade it for anything Fun. Even though we're just learning their personalities. All right. Well, that wraps up our time here. Um, it was a pleasure. Lead by example. So I figured I have our wife on the show first. Our wife, first too. Yeah. Um, and we just we just want to see. Our community change. And we want to invite you guys as well to our show. And this is the Shines family. Thank you for watching. Sincerely, God bless.